friends in this video we will see a problem in which we have to calculate power lost in the bearing which is also called as a sleeve here we have a question the dynamic viscosity of an oil used for lubrication between a shaft and sleeve is 6 poise the shaft diameter is 0.4 meter and rotates at 190 rpm Calculate the power lost in the bearing for a sleeve of length 90 mm. The thickness of oil film is 1.5 mm. Now this is the question we have. Whatever is given in this question, I will write that in the form of data first. So let us start with this problem. The dynamic viscosity of an oil used for lubrication between a shaft and sleeve is 6 poise. So mu is given. It is in terms of poise, so I have to convert it into Newton second per meter square. So for that I will have to divide it by 10 because it would be converted into Newton second that is this will give me Newton second per meter square. So mu is 0 0.6 Newton second per meter square. I have converted dynamic viscosity from poise to newton second per meter square now the dynamic viscosity of an oil used for lubrication between a shaft and sleeve is 6 poise the shaft diameter is 0 0.4 meter i'll write down capital d as 0 0.4 meter and rotates at 190 rpm speed is given calculate the power lost in the bearing for a sleeve of length 90 mm now this sleeve length is given as 90 mm so that becomes 90 into 10 raised to minus 3 meter and we have to calculate the power lost the thickness of oil film is 1.5 mm so t is equal to 1.5 mm if I convert this, it is 1.5 into 10 raised to minus 3 meter. Now, everything is written in the form of data. Let us try to find the solution for this question. In the solution part, first I'll draw the diagram. Here it is given that there is a shaft and a sleeve. So this diagram I am drawing here. Here we have a shaft. And this end in which the shaft would be rotating. This is called as bearing. Or the other word is sleeve. This I am showing in the form of section. Now, between the shaft and bearing, we have an oil film, which is used for the lubrication purpose. So here we have an oil film. Now this shaft would be rotating inside the bearing and this oil film would be moving along with the shaft. So now, the question is to calculate power lost we have to find out how much power is lost because of the shearing of oil film. Now, in order to calculate power lost, I'll say that since power lost is given by the formula of power is P is equal to 2 pi nt upon 60. This is the formula to calculate power. I will keep this as equation number 1. So therefore, if we are able to calculate torque, then this problem is over. So in order to find torque, we would be utilizing this approach that first of all, I will say that as the shaft is rotating, I will find the peripheral velocity of shaft. So therefore, the peripheral velocity of shaft 
इट इज गिवेन बाय यू इज इक्वल टू पाई डी एन अपॉन सिक्सटी सो दिस इज इक्वल टू पाई इन टू डी इज जीरो पॉइंट फोर मीटर गिवेन आरपीएम दैट इज एन वन नाइंटी डिवाइडेड बाय सिक्सटी so from this if i calculate i will get the answer of u that is the peripheral velocity and it comes out to be 3.98 meter per second so this is the peripheral velocity of the shaft when it when it is rotating or in other words we can even call it as the tangential velocity of the shaft and with this tangential velocity the oil film would be moving now after getting u i'll say that since change in velocity du it is equal to initial velocity minus final velocity now final velocity is not given so i'll take it as zero so therefore change in velocity is equal to value of u which is 3.98 meter per second now after getting the change in velocity i'll say that therefore the thickness of oil film the thickness of oil film that is dy and it is given as the thickness of oil film is 1.5 mm so i'll take it as 1.5 into 10 raised to minus 3 meter so after getting du and dy now i'll calculate shear stress so i'll say that since shear stress is given by tau is equal to mu into du by dy so therefore tau will be equal to mu is given in the question it was 0.6 newton second per meter square du it is 3.98 and dy it is 1.5 into 10 raised to minus 3 so from this i'll get my answer of shear stress and it comes out to be 1592 1592 newton per meter square so here is shear stress now after that i'll find out the shear force since shear force is given by shear force is given by now the formula of shear force force is equal to stress into area therefore f it is equal to stress into area is nothing but the peripheral area over which the oil is in contact with the shaft so here in the diagram if i can show you all that since we are having a shaft here oil is in contact with pi d circumference multiplied by the length of sleeve this length of sleeve is given so the area is pi d that is circumference multiplied by length so here i'll go on putting the values <coughs> shear stress 1592 into pi value of d it is 0.4 and length of sleeve it is 90 into 10 raised to minus 3 so from this i am getting the value of shear force as 180.05 newton now after getting shear force i can easily calculate the value of torque so now since torque transmitted by shaft is given by torque t is equal to shear force 
मल्टीप्लाइड बाय द रेडियस ऑफ शाफ्ट दैट इज डायमीटर बाय टू सो देर फॉर टी इज इक्वल टू एफ विच इज वन एट एटी पॉइंट जीरो फाइव इन टू डायमीटर बाय टू डायमीटर इज जीरो पॉइंट फोर डिवाइडेड बाय टू सो फ्रॉम दिस आई विल गेट टॉर्क इन द फॉर्म ऑफ न्यूटन मीटर एंड इट कम्स आउट टू बी थर्टी सिक्स पॉइंट जीरो वन न्यूटन मीटर वंस वी नो द वैल्यू ऑफ टॉर्क वी कैन पुट ऑल वैल्यूज इन इक्वेशन वन एंड गेट द आंसर ऑफ पावर विच वॉज आस्ट दैट इज पावर लॉस्ट एंड फ्रिक्शन सो आई से दैट since or therefore put all values in equation number 1 so therefore power p is equal to 2 pi into n the rpm that is 190 into t divided by 60 so from this i will get the answer of power and it comes out to be Seven hundred and sixteen point four eight watts, or zero point seven one six kilowatts. So this much is the power lost, and as we see in the question, the question was. to determine the power lost in bearing or sleeve and that power lost we have calculated it is 0.716 kilowatts and with this we complete this problem